Here we are with another episode of Talking Sports with the Legend. Tonight's guest is Jake Bobo. Thanks for How's it going, guys? All right. Thanks for having me on, Steve. No problem. Where, where are you from? Originally from um, a town north of Boston called North Andover, Massachusetts. It's about 15 minutes from New Hampshire. So I'm a Northeast guy. What age did you start playing sports? Really early. Um, I think, you know, I was involved in like youth soccer and stuff really early. I don't know, remember what age it had to be, you know, pre-K or kindergarten or something like that. Um, first started playing football, though, when I was in the third grade. So I that was pretty young, too, I guess. Uh, but it's always been fun. What age did you start playing tackle football? I think it was the third grade. I was bugging my dad to get me into uh, to tackle football, and I played hockey at the time, so I kind of had to choose because football bled into bled uh, into hockey season a little bit, and I chose football, and uh, I think it was a pretty solid choice. Where did you go to uh, high school? I went to a small private school um, in, in the suburbs of Boston called Belmont Hill School, um, probably – three, 400 kids. Um, it was seventh grade to 12th grade. So we had a little bit of elementary school in there and middle school um, as well. Uh, my mom worked there. My two little brothers went to school there as well. We were all there at one time, my senior year, we were all at school at the same time. Well, what made you pick Duke? It's a good question. I think Duke, um, gave me the the perfect combo of of education and football um i knew i i needed a plan for life after football and i thought duke gave me the best opportunity to to exceed in that in that regard and then it was also playing acc power five football um which i loved and i thought you know that would be the spot where you know it gave me the best chance to win football games and we did some of that um so i'm incredibly you know thankful for my time in durham what, what position did you play in high school? I played uh, receiver um, and played a little bit of defense, too. I played free safety. How about at Duke? At Duke, I was a receiver, too. Yeah. How long did you go to Duke? Went to Duke for four years, um, from 2018 uh, to 2021. Um, and I had a blast. It was awesome. Wouldn't trade it for the world. Um, I love Durham. I love Duke, so uh, it was a great time. I made you switch to UCLA. That's a good question, Steve. I think um, what it came down to is I had one more year left, um, and I wanted to to do to win. You know, we hadn't exactly done a whole lot of winning in my time in Durham. Um, had a great year in my freshman year, but aside from that, we didn't do a whole lot of um, winning. And I thought UCLA would kind of give me the the best chance to do that and then also give me a shot at playing in the NFL, which I'm working on right now. That's awesome. Yeah. Thanks guys. What Steve, what's your major in school? How major. So I got a I got a degree in economics from Duke. Um and then I got a master's degree in education in the coaching and leadership program um at UCLA, which was a blast. Oh, that's awesome. That's that's two two good majors, man. That's no a, doubt. That's great. No, no doubt. Thanks, guys. That's great. Yeah. Tell us how you how you got invited to the combines. I have not gotten invited to the combine yet. I'm still waiting on that. Um, so if you could give me some help on that, Ed Steve, I'd <laughs> greatly appreciate it. Um, but we've got our pro day at UCLA in the middle of March, I think. Um, and so that's what I'm working toward right now. So after the pro day, teams can invite you to the – how does it work? Like the, the, the mm -hmm. NFL reach out to you or, or the te special team, like certain teams reach out? Um, it's usually the NFL that will give you a combine invite, just the organization as a whole. Um, and I'm still waiting on that right now. But I think at the pro day, they invite all 32 teams and scouts and stuff like that and to come watch, um, which is uh, – yeah, I'm looking forward to it for sure.
Yeah, I, I I try to watch I try to watch some of it. I I like the uh, some of the forty yard dashes. And stuff yeah, like that. yeah, pretty, that's pretty what I'm working neat. on right now. Yeah, they say it's pretty neat watching some of them big guys get around, <laughs> rumbling, stumbling, no doubt. What is your What is your favorite football team? Mm. Were you talking NFL or college, yeah. Steve? NFL. NFL? NFL yeah. Probably would be the Pats, um, just because I'm I'm from Massachusetts, and you got you kind of got to be a, a Patriots guy coming up there, or they'll 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 kill you. Um, but I uh, kind of become more of a Giants fan. I'm, I played with Daniel Jones my freshman year, um, so I've been rooting rooting on him um, a lot recently. No, don't root too hard this week, and when they play the Eagles, <laughs> are you guys Eagles fans? Oh yeah, yeah. Oh good, fly Eagles, fly baby. Yeah, well, he Steve interviewed a cup of uh, one of the uh, guy played for the uh, Panthers, Colin Thompson. Oh, oh, Colin. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah sure. he's a tight end, and Steven's uh, part of this organization called AHA Athletes okay. Helping Athletes, and mm-hmm. he's a, that guy's a big sponsor of that uh, program. And he every That's year awesome. when they have that spikes, wear your own spikes to the game. He yeah, he, mm-hmm. he always wears the AHA spikes for the you know, and then they donate the money they yeah. get. Uh huh. Yeah, Steve That's was awesome. invited. Steve was invited last year to the uh, Maxwell Club Awards. Oh no way! Yeah, yeah. we got a chance to meet uh, the guy. That, yeah, the guy the Eagles drafted, uh, Jordan Davis. Yeah, there. Yep. Um, That's awesome. Who was the uh, the quarterback for uh, Alabama? No, no, quarterback for Penn State was it? Yeah, the kid. The kid that was a freshman this year, Singletary. Oh, oh yeah, sure. He, he was the uh, um. Defensive and offensive player of the year in mm. high school, so that's why wow. he played it. Yeah, mm. it was amazing. Some of the size of some of those guys, and then yeah, with, those guys are big, huh? Yeah, with well, him and the uh, quarterback for Alabama were small though, compared to yeah, the, oh Bryce uh, Young. Yes, yes, nice okay. guys though, real nice guys. Yeah, no doubt, no doubt, no doubt. That's awesome. Do you have a special diet? A special diet? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I do right now. Um, I'm up here in, in San Jose, California, training for this these combines and these pro days and stuff. Um, and they've got me on a on a lean diet, a lot of protein, uh, a little bit less carbs, but trying to lose a little weight before uh, before pro day. I'm gonna ask him that, that one there. If you could have, if you could have dinner. If you could have dinner with three football players. Who would they be and why? Oh, that's a good question, Steve. Um, I think number one would be Tom Brady. Um, I would just pick his brain on how he, you know, played this long in the league. Um, he's, you know, incredible competitor, and I admire that, so I'd, I'd probably ask him about that. Um, probably Jerry Rice as well, um, just because, you know, he's probably the greatest receiver of all time, so I'd, I'd – you know, talk X's and O's with him and, and talk a little ball there. Um, the third one, um, I'd probably go with Brian Dawkins, the old, um, the old, the old Eagles safety, um, just cause he was nuts. And I'd love to kind of sit down and talk with him about his, uh, the fire that he played with, uh, which is something I admired. So I'd love to pick his brain a little bit on that end, end too. Yeah, we, we he was he had a yeah, spe- he was at the well, who was- yeah he gave oh, a special, he was yeah he mm-hmm. gave a special audience to Stephen and uh, his one buddy that was invited to this the Maxwell yeah. Book Club Awards. They took us in the back room. It was really cool, man. He was that's a, awesome. Yeah, he's mm-hmm. a super 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 nice guy. Okay, good. Yeah, he he yeah. he's a really nice guy. Very religious and very um, family oriented. And yeah, uh, no doubt. But he was a totally different player because we, you know, we learned every, we knew everything about him, and, and he. Oh turned, my gosh, he was yeah, nuts! He, he turned into the uh, what did he call him? Uh, the, um, one of the Marvel heroes. Um, oh, the Hulk. Yeah, no, not the Hulk. He turned into the guy with the claws and the what's it? What's oh, it? Oh, Wolverine. Wolverine, yes, and he's to come <laughs> out. He's to come out every game and it, on all fours. Yeah. Yeah, he was unbelievable. I remember those days. I was just, yeah. I was just watching the thing on the Phil and mm-hmm. on the like great hits and stuff, and they were showing you yeah. 
Vick when they played him. Oh, wow. and, oh my God. And then it was so funny because Michael Vick almost got a touchdown, and then they called it back for holding. <laughs> and he got, oh, Dawkins crushed him. Oh. So how tall are you? I'm 6'4". 6'5". Uh, oh, nice. on, a, on a good day. That's a nice size for a wide receiver. Yeah, no doubt. I got to work on that 40, but other than that, yeah. Yeah, I, well, yeah. Some some of the best receivers though, like you know, it's so funny about the, the the when they do them forties because they always say there was guys that you know when they catch the ball, good luck trying to catch them, you know. Right, you right, get, no doubt. Yeah, you got a, you got a whole different speed when you're running for your life. So yeah, you're exactly right. <laughs> so uh, well, look, man, we're gonna be rooting for you, Jake. You got an well, easy, thanks, easy name to remember, and mm-hmm. we'll definitely tell everybody we we know. And I, I used to have some connection at the Eagles, but now I don't really deal with them much anymore. So, yeah, yeah I was I was real friendly with the uh, old um, security guard. He retired. Okay. Yeah, he retired <laughs> a year, a couple of years after Andy Reid left. And now, All right. Yeah, Good so I, I, I don't know. Chip Kelly, right? What's that? Chip, Chip, Chip Kelly. Yeah, Chip, yeah. when Chip Kelly. Yeah, yeah. When, yeah, when Chip came in, they, they right basically. After Andy. Right, right after Andy. Yeah. Well, no, I think my buddy worked for him for – the year he was the two years he was there. Yeah. Then, yeah. Yeah. The guy I knew was a former police officer. So he was, okay. he yeah, he retired after like 30 years in the force. And then he did yeah. that for like 10 or 15 sure. years. So sure. yeah, it was really cool. That's awesome. Cool. Well, look, man, we hope you get a chance. And uh, yeah. like I always tell people, if you don't get drafted, sometimes the, some of the best players in the, in the NFL were non, non drafted free agents. So no doubt, no doubt. That's what I'm looking for. Just give me a shot. We we're, we're gonna we're gonna put your name out there for all the guys in this area. So hopefully they'll hear you, man. Well, thanks, guys. I appreciate it. Thanks for having me on. Thanks for Thank well, thanks for taking the time out of your day, man. And good mm-hmm. great luck, man. We'll be looking no forward to seeing you. Take all right, care. guys. Thanks, Thank guys. Thank you so much, man. Appreciate it. All right, see ya. Good job.